All right, for 1.2b, um, we're just going to go through and do some practice examples of what this will look like. So it says use the plaintiff's right to answer questions one through three. What are two other ways to name line QT? So the first thing that comes to my mind without even looking at the picture is if we have a line, we need to put the arrows above going both ways and we can switch that. Line QT is the same thing as TQ. So we're talking about this line right here. So to name a line, I only need two capital letters. So line QN and Q. The other thing is, if you notice this, that is naming that line because it's a cursive. So you could just say line M if you wanted to. So that's why that's there. Um, for the next part, for number two, it says, what are two other ways to name plain P? So we know this is plain P because of that capital letter down in the corner. And to name a plane, what you're going to do is just say plane, and then you want to pick three other capital letters that fall on that line. So R, Q, V, plane, let's see, S, V, R, it doesn't matter. So I can use any of those four points because they fall on the line. I can't use L here because it's naming that line. I can't use T because it's off of the plane. It's on top of it. And I can't use N because it's below the plane. And I can't use M because it's naming that other line. So just be careful. Your only other four options are those right there that are underlined. And then for number three, it says, what are the names of three collinear? So collinear, think of line. So collinear points are points that fall on the same line. So let's just look at line L here. I'm not going to use the L because that names the line. It doesn't have a point with it because there's no dots. So those three points fall on the same line. So R, Q, and S are collinear. The only other options you have here, again, this is line M, so I can't use that one, is you could have done those three because they fall on the same line. Those are your only two options for that one. Um, what are the names of four coplanar points? So we kind of talked about that before. Four coplanar points points that fall on the same plane. So R, Q, S, and V are your only options. Again, because L names that line, P names the plane, T is off of the plane, so is N, and M names that line. So R, Q, S, and V. What are the names of three segments? So segments are the ones that stop. So we're going to have that straight line above. So segment DE, we're just going to pick two points. Segment EF, segment DF. Now, when you use a segment DE, I couldn't have said a different segment as ED. That's the same thing. It's just written in a different order, so be careful with that. What are the names of rays? There are four. So remember, a ray has an endpoint and goes continuously. So here's an endpoint continuously. So ray DE. We could have done DF. We could move up from D and go to E. So EF. And those are the ones going up into the right. If we want to go down into the left, we could do ray ED, ray FD. Let's see, I did ED, I did FD, I'm missing FE. Okay, 
and then our postulates. So these you just need to kind of think through and have memorized through any two points. There is exactly goodness. Um, sorry, yeah, you just want to kind of have to memorize these. There is exactly one line. If two distinct lines intersect, then they exact intersect in exactly one point. So if you think about that, if I have a line and another line, they're going to cross at a point. For part C, if two distinct planes intersect, so if I have two pieces of paper coming together, they're going to form a line. And then through three non-collinear points, there's exactly one plane. Um, the one thing I want to point out is if you have something that looks like a cube, so let me draw kind of a cube here. Here's our cube. So I'm just going to kind of give some letters here. A, B, C, D. We'll go E, F, G, and H. Sometimes you're going to get a question of like if they are coplanar. So remember, coplanar is like a flat surface. So if you think of like the front here, there's your flat surface. So the ones that are coplanar are A, B, C, and D. Now, Coplanar could be the side, so D, F, G, C. Coplanar could be the top, so A, E, F, and B. You're going to get asked questions, so coplanar fall on the same plane. You're going to get asked questions where they're going to ask you if E, F is coplanar with D, C. And the answer to that is actually yes, because you can take a flat surface or a piece of paper and you can kind of come from these two points and go down to those and form a plane that way. So just be careful with that. You're going to see that quite a bit. So then, like if I give you another example, if I ask you if A, E is coplanar with C, G, the answer again would be yes because you can come from here and form like that flat surface that goes down to here. So you certainly can take like a piece of paper and slice from those too. If you ever have to do like a zigzag to hit to all of your points, the answer would be no there. So just be careful for that. They're going to try and trick you with that every once in a while.